be sweaty fuck. It's <laughs> so creepy. What a fucking creepy, creepy. By the way, Canada's next top comic is not an international competition. That would be a national competition. Just a side note, you creepy fuck. How creepy are you? And actually, <clears throat> 516 is actually his fucking hotel room. And yeah, I, I lucked out, I got my own hotel room. And Paul, who shared a room with him, is rolling. He's like, fuck, dude, don't. Don't give my address out when I'm staying with you. And you know there's going to be one dude in here that's going to remember that hotel and not remember who you heard it from, and knock on like 3 in the morning and be like, hey, 516. What a creepy fucking... He is my friend, but what a creepy bastard, really. Sweats and he runs around and talks it. By round applause, ladies, who has he talked to so far today? Yeah. The entire back audience. He just skims around. It's like creepy pedophile. <laughs> I'm uh, not gonna start doing jokes until I get my drink. So we'll just I'm chat it up. I'm bringing it. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> alright. <laughs> Sounds like somebody else needs a fucking drink right now. <laughs> fucking bringing it. Bringing it. Hi, you guys. How are you down there? This is is this, is this a strip club when we're not doing coffee or when there's like brass poles and you guys are just staring at my dick? Thank you. You're lovely. I'll do a shot of Jack too. Thought I'd wait till you came up the stairs. Oh, hi. How are you? Okay, how are you? And it was actually to everybody at the table, not individually. I wasn't going to go through the entire audience. See how everyone's feeling. Just turn this into an awkward AA meeting. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just, just know, can you, on the other side of the camera, let me Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It was for her, wasn't it? Yeah, this is the one angry lesbian. Yeah, asshole. It was for her. Uh, rule number one to doing a show in Whistler, don't wear a tie. Twice, people walk by me and they're like, faggot. <laughs> Just trying to look nice for people. Nothing tastes like regret like Jack. Uh, do we, uh, do we, anyone celebrating birthdays or anything tonight? What a party? Apparently, according to the windows, we're missing a beautiful sunset right now, so we should, we should pause the show and go inside and check that out. This looks gorgeous out there. It's fucking 10.30. Beautiful up here in Whistler. I gotta be honest, I'm so high right now. <laughs> and if my parents get home, you guys all have to fucking get out of my basement right now. <laughs> they will not be happy with this. I'm gonna have two friends over. Alright, so you guys decide who's staying, the rest of you get the fuck out right away. Alright. I don't know why you guys are all staring at me. I don't come to Walmart and stare at you during your show. You know, so. <laughs> Uh, do we, uh, round of applause? Do we have a single crowd here tonight? Yeah, we have all directions. I said round of applause. That's why you're single, because you don't fucking listen. <laughs> you! Yeah. I, uh... You guys are actually a beautiful crowd, so give yourself a hand. And half of you are like, no, I should sit this one out. I, I look in the mirror daily. I'm going to... Even if you're unattractive, join in. Let's do this together. There you go. The one dude, one dude over there is like, thank you for including me finally. Hey, going to beautiful people parties. Don't get a class for me. Never get that chance. Uh, fuck that. Where was I? 
Is everyone okay for try the try the miso soup? <laughs> what was that? You just took away from the table. It's empty. <laughs>
Who wants to be honest right now? Because right now you're all lying. You're lying to yourselves, okay? There you go, sir. Thank you. It feels good, right? Clap a little more. <laughs> the dude sitting alone. Yeah, I tried it. Yeah, I tried it. Thanks for throwing me into the fucking online dating bus. Uh, plenty of fish. I tried plenty of fish. Uh, there's some fucking weird, weird, weird chicks on that. There's... Is there not what I'm asking you? Like, yeah. Did you actually, did you meet somebody off that? Or? First of all, what's your name? Let's throw you under the bus more. Dave. Dave, thank you, Dave. Uh, where are you from, Dave? Whistler. Whistler, right? Eh? Well, nine years. So. Got hurt. <laughs> he got hurt or he has hurts? <laughs> Well, you are in Whistler for nine years, so that's giving you a herpes, for sure. You got, how did you get hurt? Like, like, heart? Or like, like, your heart broken? Or like, you busted an elbow cap? Is there such things as elbow? I don't know. I dropped out already. I think he was talking about the herpes. Okay, cool. <laughs> See, that's the best thing about Whistler, is like... Like, I come up to Whistler once in a while, and I'm like, I have that, like, can't catch it twice mentality, right? So it's, so it's liberating. You feel free, like, almost like, you yeah, like, sure, I'll fuck you. And it's like a fucking fire hydrant. I don't give a shit. I've got it. Really? Would you be a firefighter? So like, oh, well, rape's fine, but firefighter, firefighters, that's, that's all fucking subject. It's funny, though, uh, I tried plenty of fish. And it didn't work out too well, okay? But people are actually meeting each other off Craigslist, though, which I think is a little fucked up. But really, like, if you meet a girl off Craigslist and you finally take her out to meet your friends for the first time, do you, like, do you introduce your, uh, like, do you introduce her as, like, this is, this is Meryl. I met her off the same side I saw my fucking couch. Like, what's your, what's your opening line to that? You can't beat around that bush. Um, do we have, uh, drug users yet? Was that the vegetarian? <laughs> Lettuce wraps and coke. That's all I do. That is it. Heroin and steak, fuck off. Uh, I probably, uh, I, I live in Vancouver again now. I probably have the best drug dealer in the world. Um, and I'll tell you why. Uh, he calls me before he goes home at night, which is... I'm not showing you how good my life's going when you get last call from your drug dealer so like, so, like shit's not going that well for you. It's like Kyle, uh, you okay? Yeah dude, I'm fine. You sure? I'm going home in a half hour. Yeah dude, I'm in bed, I'm fine. And like when I need shit, he'll actually pick me up at my house and drop me off at work. Like if I need a ride, like it's a good fucking system I have in place right now. But like, it wasn't until last week that I woke up in the morning and I'm like, I don't think I'm addicted to coke anymore. I'm just like a huge fan of good customer service. I think that's, that's where it's standing. <laughs> customer service, that is the punchline, man. So, <laughs> thank you for mock drumming. <laughs> Didn't offend her. That was, she was like, <laughs> mock drumming. <laughs> What else is happening? I should have brought notes up, because that's how I am. <laughs> Has anyone noticed these fucking pictures in this place? <laughs> it's a little creepy, right? Are these like past employees? <laughs> well, Susie, uh, we caught you stealing from the till, so you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> photo booth you go. <laughs> we may make you look like a black person. We may, we may make you look like a heroin addict, but you're on the wall. There's been a lot of people, oh there is actually a black person up there, I'm sorry, I was referring to actually to the white person with black face paint, and then I realized there's actually a black person. So now I'm a racist. Before I said it. <laughs> <laughs>